Good morning, and welcome to St. Mother Garen Parish. As we enter our second Sunday of Lent, let us take a moment of silence as we walk with our Lord on this Lenten journey. Today's celebrant is Father Paul, and our deacon is Deacon Roland. Our gathering song will be The Glory of These 40 Days, found in your Mother Garen songbook, number nine. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we gather here this morning to welcome all the scouts and all the families who are here with us. Let's come on the second Sunday of Lent. The Gospel today is about transfiguration. Jesus transfigure, and that's a voice from the Father. This is my beloved Son. <coughs> Listen to him. Let us gather here. Listen to the voice of God. Let us come and ask the Lord to be with us and strengthen us. Let us also acknowledge our fellows for the time we failed to listen to the voice of God, for the time we failed to love God and others in our lives. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to and you, my brothers and sisters, and that, that I have greatly sinned in my thought, in my word, in what I have done. done. And and what I failed to do, to do through my, my fall, fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie O God, who have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word, 
that with spiritual sight made purer, we may rejoice to behold your glory. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Give the word for children. So, I invite Julie McGuire, please come forward, and invite all the children, please come forward, all the children. And Julie, receive this book of sacred readings and proclaim God's word faithfully to the children and trust it to your care. And my dear children, you will now go to hear God's word, to praise God in song, and to reflect on the wonderful things God has done for us. We will await your return so that together we may celebrate the Eucharist. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham. Here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son Isaac, your only one whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a holocaust on a height that I will point out to you. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a holocaust in place of his son. Again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did, in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. The word of the Lord.
before the Lord. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk before the Lord. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I trust and even How precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of His faithful. I will walk before the Lord. I will walk before the servant, Lord, your servant I am, the son of your handmaid. You have loosened my bonds, a thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the name of the A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. How will he not also give us everything else along with him? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us. Who will condemn? Christ Jesus it is who died, or rather was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. The Word of the Lord. Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. We walk this journey with you, you died for all of our sins, praise to you, Lord Jesus. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. And his clothes became dazzling white, such a snow fuller on earth could bleach them. Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses, and they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say. They were so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. From the cloud came a voice, This is my beloved son, listen to him. Suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone, except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. The Gospel of the Lord. O Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, well, a few weeks ago I had a chance to go to Vietnam and I went to my hometown. In my hometown, we have the uh, famous, there's the uh, small mountain, but up, up on the mountain is the big statue of Christ the King. And I have a chance to walk up there like a 700 step. You know, even in January, the weather is about 85 degrees, and when you walk up there, you're sweating. I feel like sweat and feel it's very hard to do that. But you know, when you go up there, you will feel you know, the joy, the breeze, and the nice weather. And also, you will up there and I have the chance, you can, I can go up to inside of the you know, big statue of, of Jesus Christ the King and I can go out from the, the hands of Jesus. And you, I can step on that hand and you will see outside like the big ocean and the whole city and you will feel it, feel the different. You feel, you know, you are up there and you don't want to go down to the hot weather down there. But when I reflect upon that and that we reflect upon the gospel today, you see how, you know, Jesus took Peter, John and James up on the mountain to reflect upon, you know, the mountain top. You know, in Israel, you've been to the Holy Land. You know what I'm talking about, Mount Tabor, the highest mountain in Israel. When you go up there, you will see the whole Israel, the whole the beautiful. And it's the same experience that I had when I went to the Holy Land. The bus takes us around and around to go all the way up there. So the mountaintop experience is really a different experience. If you've been on retreat, you will know most of the retreat house they build up on the, on the mountain. I went to Greeks last, uh, a few months ago as well, and that's, they build big monasteries up on the high mountain. And most of the Benedictine, see how they build their house up on the mountain and see how the monks, they pray together. They feel, you know, 
that God is with them. I think today Jesus want to teach us and want to help us and remind us. Sometimes we need to set aside for the time, you know, to be up on the mountain, to set aside to be a time with God. If you hear, heard the gospel before this, see how Jesus told the disciples that the Son of Man has to suffer, to、so、hand it over, the scribe, the Pharisee has to suffer, has to die, and rise again to new life. And see how Peter said, "No, Lord, you're not going to do it. You're not going to." You are the Messiah. You be the King of Israel. You will liberate the people. You see, it's not what Jesus' mission on the, in, when he came into the world. That's why he told Peter, "Get behind me, Satan." That's not God's way. Jesus want to teach the apostles. You know, the way of the Lord is different sometimes in our way. Sometimes we see the world differently. And I'm sure the disciple maybe they felt, you know, disappointed. Maybe they felt bad about. They felt sad about that, and today Jesus want them to show them about the different experience. Last week we heard the gospel of Jesus came into the desert and he was tempted. He can he show us his humanity, the nature of his human, because Jesus a hundred percent human and a hundred percent God. Last week we see him as the person of vulnerable, a person who felt hungry. It's like each one of us. He faced temptation. He faced all kinds of difficulties in his life, and today he shows us his nature, divinity, glorifying God. His white, dazzling white, and even Peter so excited, said, "Lord, we should build three tents up here, and the Holy Land now, Mount Tabor up there. You will see the three temples: big one for Jesus, one for Elijah, one for Moses. See how Jesus was conversing." With Elijah and Moses represent Moses represent the law, and and, Mo, and Elijah represent the prophet. And you see how Peter is feel excited about that. I think the mountain top is where we can experience God's love and we can close be closer to God. And during this Lenten season, the church put us the gospel transfiguration to help us to know that we need to set aside with the Lord. We need. To go into the desert, but also to spend quiet time, and you see the voice from the father said, "You know, this is my beloved son. Listen to him. Let us listen to the voice of God. You know, only when we set aside the noisy for outside the world, only when we focus, only when we gather here, only when we spend more time in prayer, we can hear the voice of God." When we can hear the voice of God, we can open ourselves and open ourselves and receive God's will. You know, during this Lenten season, sometimes it's hard. We have to discipline ourselves. That's three things we do: prayer, fasting, and alms giving. Sometimes it's not easy, but we need to set a quiet time. And sometimes we went through difficulties from our family, from our lives. But if we focus on God, the Lord will help us to go through. Even Jesus has to suffer, but He shows us to suffering, to sacrifice. You know, Christian without sacrifice is no meaning at all. If we say we believe in Jesus, but we don't do anything. It's not no meaning at all. We follow Jesus. Jesus opened Himself. He obeyed His Father totally. The first reading today is a beautiful reading from Ab. See how Abraham, even God tested him. Tell him to sacrifice his only son. I'm sure Abraham felt very sad. He didn't know why did God ask him to sacrifice his only son, but he said, "Open himself." He obeyed God totally, even he didn't know. I think sometimes in our our life, if we obey God, if we follow His commandment, even we have to go to difficulties in our lives. But I'm sure we will find the true meaning in that, and I'm sure. We can we say no pain no gain to sacrifice to the true love, even the love you share with your children, your husband and wife. You will know what I'm talking about. Only sacrificial love can give us true happiness. Let us remind ourselves, especially let us reflect upon the gospel today, and the first reading today, and also the second reading. This beautiful reading from Saint Paul even tell us about, you know. Nothing can separate it from the love of God. You know, nothing. And God didn't even didn't spare His only Son. 
He's offered His only Son, even He died on the cross for us. So God offered everything for us, everything that the Lord gave us. So let us keep that in mind. The Lord will help us to go any, even in difficulties in our lives if we trust in Him, if we follow Him. Let us during this Lenten season use this opportunity. That's why during the Lenten season we have Station of the Cross, we have Parish Mission. If you can read the book, This Is My Body, all the book, all the prayers, everything help us to focus. Focus on God and we follow and be faithful to God in our lives. And we, if we do that, we will celebrate during Easter more meaningful, the resurrection to suffering, to dying with Christ. We will rise again with Jesus in our lives. Let's profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Be God not made, consubstantial with the Father. To him all things were made, for us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit, incarnate the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified upon the Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who will be the Father and the Son, is the Lord and glorified. to the prophet, I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, confess and baptism, the forgiveness of sins, We trust in God's boundless goodness. Let us bring our prayers before him with confidence and hope. For the Pope and all bishops, may they be strengthened by God's beloved Son in all they do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations and people, may God open their hearts to the gospel message, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle with doubt, may they hear God's voice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Lord encourage us in perseverance in our Lenten resolutions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially those listed in our Paris Bulletin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, Teresa Donati, Francesco Sassanelli, and Joyce e. Smith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions for which this Mass is offered for Frank Padlo, Roman and Anna Romaniot, for Frank McGuire, birthday, Karen Perry. This is members of the Braglia family. Genevieve Canning, members of the Karlstrom and Yagunit family, Adelina and Arnolfo Salinas, and Jacqueline Gibbons, we pray to the Lord. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, is spoken and unspoken. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear the prayers of your children, grant them according to your holy will, and help us always to be faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ and to listen to his voice, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. So if you would like to offer the rice bowl to help the poor this time, the collection will be after this.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Father, set your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. With this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We have lifted up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For after he had told the disciples of his coming death on the holy mountain, he manifested to them his glory to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets that the passion lead to the glory of the resurrection. So with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty with our end, we acclaim. gifts we pray by sending out your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion he took bread and gave them thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, all the clergy, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ.
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those participating in today's liturgy via live stream, please bow your heads as I read the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. As we receive this glorious mystery, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us while still on earth to be partakers even now of the things of heaven, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The This Is My Body book discussion continues Thursday, February 29th. You may attend the discussion either after the 8 o'clock a.m. Mass at St. Cyprian's or in the Fireside Room at 6.30 p.m. at St. Celestine's. Holy Hour is Friday at 3 o'clock p.m. at St. Celestine's. This week's Stations of the Cross will be Friday, March 1st at 7 o'clock p.m. at St. Cyprian's. This year's parish mission will be Monday and Tuesday, March 4th and 5th at 7 o'clock p.m. at St. Cyprian's. Our speaker will be Father Dominic Clemente. All right, thank you. As I said, my harmony, we have a lot of opportunity, especially to do this Lenten season. So please, you can pick up the book, This Is My Body, this book, uh, the Revive the Vow of the Eucharist, and Father Dominic Clemente will do the parish mission the week from uh, tomorrow. So please, and also book discussion about, because this book will be theological background more for you to understand more about the Eucharist. So we have book discussion this Thursday and stage of the cross. So a lot of information, a lot of opportunity gather and spend time prayer. So thank you for the scout and have a lot of, you are here today for the Mass. Let us continue to help one another to grow in faith, especially during this Lenten season. So have a good week, everyone. Bow your heads for a special blessing. Bless your faithful, we pray, O Lord, with a blessing that endures forever and keep them faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son, so that they may always desire and at last attain that glory 
whose beauty he showed in his own body, to the amazement of his apostles, to Christ our Lord. Amen. One thing I forgot. Did you like the uh, the screen and the projector that we post up there? All right, very good. So thank you. Thanks for to teach you Christ campaign and many people help. I know Mr. Craig, uh, Mr. Grant Camera, Kapner, he really loved the screen and he <laughs> liked to do it a lot. So uh, let us give him the big applause. I know it's not easy to put the screen like this every week. So uh, Jolene is and Father Moses and. Uh, and father uh, and father and crack they all <laughs> come together a lot so so let us thank them and uh, hopefully we will improve week by week but hopefully it helped you to pray every day and may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen, amen. our mass is ended let us go in peace to love and serve the lord thanks be to god